Hello, Impure here. I'm back with another tutorial. T today I'm showing you how to make an efficient skill tree or really useful. First I'm going to the skill tree window which you can find in the menu. Um, this is my current build. This is not the most efficient because I don't like the most efficient way. <laughs> but okay, well the first thing you will notice um, I will go over each one and which one. Okay, so you see three trees and you see the spiritual guide, windmaster and, and mechanic or mechanician or whatever you they want to call it. I call it a mechanic because it's last words. The last bit is not needed. Spiritual guide is for maximum saves. If you want most saves and most uh, saves every turn, you want spiritual guide. Windmaster, if you want to have fun as a shaman or move around really freely, you want windmaster. Um, if you want to make really stable hard mode builds, you want mechanic. Why is hard mode important? Because if you're playing on hard mode, you get double experience, thus you will level up quicker. And also with spiritual guide, you get more saves, which means you get more experience, thus you level up quicker. So that's an efficient build. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to invest into spiritual guide first up until this line here where you get easy victory, ambulance and chief's food. Why do you want these three? And that is because easy victory makes it so you can give mice, uh, you can get mice into the hole if they are noobs and they are stuck and this will save up on time for them for you to bring them to the hole. Ambulance is the most handy. If, for, if mice die on your round, you can summon 5 mice back, which means that there's 50 more XP per round, which is really useful. They will respawn as skeletons at the moment, but this might be changed in the future. Then there's chief food, which allows you to give your cheese to a mouse. So if you stand inside the cheese and the mice are AFK, the ones, for example, you respawn, you can give them cheese and then you can get them in the hole. So this allows you to get 50 more XP every shaman turn. Also there's unburstable which you probably need to get first. So what you want to do if you go into spiritual you can get the big cheese. I personally don't like it but if you get the big cheese it's easier for mice to get it. So you invest in this. If you do that then you invest in unburstable. And you see big shaman you don't want big shaman. Why don't you want big shaman because some maps that don't allow you to go through holes. Superstar is useless, you don't want to invest points in this unless you don't want a bigger cheese. So um, you want to invest in either this or this. Um, it's probably smarter to invest first in time, so you have to put points in time, then you can get unburstable, then you have to put four points in big cheese and then you can start here. And if you get that, then you will work on this line right here. And you can forget this one for now um, and you have to get up until this point um, if you get up until this point on this round it's the same with this one what you first do you don't you don't need to invest in big spirits because you're probably playing on hard mode if you want to use the most efficient build um, but the second skill here is more useless because you will spawn an extra ball when you're spawning balls and if, if you actually want to use balls in your build then you probably don't want this feature so you have to invest in spirits even though you don't use spirits at all so you have to put five points in this so it's five points wasted but it's the most efficient way uh, you don't want this then you can either choose to invest in um, heavier anvil or heavier cannon. I like heavier cannons because you can shoot mice with them. And I invest in the ice plank because well, I can use it. Then you have the stable runes which I had uh, I explained in another video. You can watch that if you didn't. Um, this allows you to make really stable builds. Um, and with hard mode it's really handy to have something that makes your builds really stable because you don't have red anchors galore or all that stuff and when you get uh, choco plank as well you can use that to stabilize um, sides of your builds um, then the thing you want to do you can invest in better shamaning and like quicker shamaning you can go further like that um, you can choose that path or you can start on windmaster and on windmaster the second row has opportunist opportunist means um, 
when the last mouse enters the hole you go into the hole as well which saves time from you going in there and you see um, you will probably screw around um, you probably think oh well then I'm gonna invest in either one of these and this one is oh the shaman speed increases no I don't really need that I guess and um, here's clean mouse which allows you to spawn bubbles when mice die you don't want to invest any points in this skill why not you ask well once a mouse dies, a bubble will spawn, and when this bubble spawns, the other mice are like, Hey, there's a bubble. I can use this bubble to go across the map. So then 10 mice jump on the bubble, the bubble explodes, the 10 mice die, and there goes 11 of your saves. And if that didn't happen, you would have lost one save, and you could have revived it with ambulance. So you don't want to infest any points into clean mouse. That's the most idiotic thing to do. Then you want to get opportunist. This is probably one of the most useful things in this thing, um, so you want to get that. And if you get that, you should continue finishing uh, me Mechanic or finishing um, Spiritual Guide. And if you want to finish Spiritual Guide, I uh, recommend you go get Speed Boost and Spring. Because you don't want Teleporter, you don't really need Teleporter. Teleporter allows you to teleport mice. Well, if you have Ambulance and Gift Cheese and easy victory you don't really need teleport also you don't need ancestral spirit because you will put most likely read five and if not you there's a low chance you can actually help when you're dead um, apple is really useful if for example you want to use these so you can invest in the apple but it's most recommended to invest in spring and speed boost because uh, the spring allows you to shoot up mice really easily on one spot so that helps out Okay, so you can invest either in that, or you can go to Mechanic, and Mechanic you have Master Summoner, which allows you to spawn 30% quicker, the next that is Anti-Spirit, you don't need that if you're hard mode, and bubbles or balloons that spawn instantly is useless as well. Then you want to go up, there's in the middle is Ar Architect, it makes objects transparent. No use at all. If you can despawn them, it's better. So you can, it's better to just invest in uh, demolition worker, which allows you to despawn grounds. I invested in sheep. You don't need the sheep. Sheep will only kill your mice. So it's smarter to invest only in dem demolition worker. Then if you go further, you get eagle eye, and eagle eye allows you to um, increases your range with 30. After you finish these two builds then it's smart to get into Windmaster. And if you want to go into Windmaster, um, at this row, um, which you already have opportunist if correct, uh, you, you can choose from Cleats, which uh, increases your friction, and from uh, Decrease of Shaman Moss. You don't want to invest in Bubbles and Moss, even though it might be annoying on collision maps, uh, because you're really light and you get easily uh, pushed around as a Shaman. But that doesn't really matter. You don't want higher friction unless you um, are really bad at staying put on your own on your own build. If you really suck at climbing, you might want to put one point in this, but it's really annoying because everything will be chocolate and you will have to jump over and over from something. So you probably go like, well, then I need to put invest five more points because you need to invest five points every row. Don't infest in clean mouse, so you have to choose diet. It's sad, but you have to do it. Then after that, you get rocket science, which is awesome. It's really awesome. And companion crate. Companion crate, I'll explain how to use this. Some people think it's pointless, but it's actually quite useful if you use it correctly. Um, a companion crate can spawn, and when you spawn a new one, the old one disappears. That means you can put it underneath an ice wall or in a wall or something to lift it up, and then at the other side of the map, you can spawn a new one, and that makes the ice wall go back. So you can use it as a sort of trigger or um, a long distance way to uh, remove. Uh, thing you spawn. So it's nice to hold something up that needs to go down. There's a few player maps that have this. Then personal teleporter. Yeah, you don't actually need to invest any points in this unless you really... well, it's good on some player maps, so it might be smart to invest some points in this, but you need to invest points in this to go to Acrobat. You can get smaller uh, planks, but smaller planks are quite useless because, yeah, they're, no, they're just useless. Then you have projection, 
projection allows you to double tap. Double tap can be dangerous because some players run up walls or run up planks and they push uh, right or left double and then they teleport like 80 pixels through it and a lot of shamans die because they are un they are not used to this. Then after that if you have invested enough points you can get acrobat. Acrobat is useful uh, because you can move and spawn at the same time. Then um, these two are quite useless so you might want to look here like maybe you want some friction because you suck at climbing up your thing but you don't really need trans transforming mice because that's the most pointless thing and maybe some more ice cube is nice but you actually want saves and you can also get angel wings which lets you hover but hovering is for noobs and at the end of cloud which you probably got at one point um, the clouds can be stable but I really recommend working with stable rooms um, other than that I think I explained everything in the skill build so yeah I hope you learned something from this. You can also try to do my my build. I um I, I made this this thing I use. I use this because I find it most fun to play around with uh, with master because it's fun and I like to have fun while I play. But if I really wanted to be good, I should have gotten up till this point and then put it, infested into these two. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.